Storytelling time. A freshwater food web, by Carrie Master, illustrated by Howard Gray. A freshwater food web. Splash! A frog lands on a lily pad. Animals and plants thrive in this northern freshwater wetland. They are all connected in a food web. Let's take a closer look. Follow that frog. All living things, from the lily pad to the frog, need energy to live. Plants, like water lilies and reeds, get energy from the sun. Plants can make their own food. They are called producers. Animals are consumers. They cannot make their own food. Bugs and small fish eat the plants for energy. They are primary consumers. A mallard duck paddles by. So does a painted turtle. They nibble on some duckweed. As omnivores, they also eat insects and fish. That makes them secondary consumers. They depend on plants and other animals for energy. Secondary consumers are both prey and predator. See those red-winged blackbirds in the reeds. They eat seeds and insects for energy. They also build their nest over the water. The thick weeds hide the eggs from predators, like raccoons or snakes. Frogs eat insects too. Slurp. These insect eaters stick close to the water. They are born in the water as tadpoles. As adults. Frog keep the bug population down, but this frog better watch out. A great blue heron lurks behind the tall reeds. The heron can easily stand in the shallow water on long legs. Its sharp beak grabs the frog. Gulp. That's not the end of the food web. The heron snaps up fish. And mice too, but the bird can be a big meal for a carnivore. A bald eagle swaps in. It usually eats heron eggs and chicks, but it will eat a full-grown heron too, when it can. It grabs the heron before it flies away. Eagles are apex predators. They are the top consumer. They eat other animals for energy. The eagle takes its meal to drier land. As it eats, the eagle twitches. What's going on? Buzz, buzz! A swarm of mosquitoes. The eagle itches from their bites. These insects love wetlands. They get energy from digging, from drinking plant nectar, but for a female mosquito to lay eggs, she needs protein. She drinks the blood of wetland animals. When animals die, the food web web is not done. Beetles, worms, and fungi break down the dead bodies. These are decomposers. The nutrients from the dead bodies go back into the ground. They feed new plants. The food web starts again. As you can see, wetland plants and animals are all connected. If one species dies out, other animals lose their source of energy, from producers to decomposers. Every living thing plays an important part in the food web.